Hey Google Workspace and Cloud Identity Admins, this is Goldie again and in this video let's talk about the newest functionality that Google just rolled out in May 2022 which is the support for multiple identity providers. So let me uh, share a couple of slides so that you understand the basics behind it and uh, what are the logistics that you should have in place and then I'll show you the demonstration uh, showing how you can actually leverage that functionality in your Google Workspace or Cloud Identity. Okay, so this is the architecture of multiple uh, IDP uh, offering or the new functionality where uh, in the past, like you had option to create one IDP, which is SAML based, and the assignment is like all or none. So once you assign the SAML IDP, everybody uh, in your organization will be redirected except super admin to that IDP. But this time, uh, you know, in the past, Google had partial sing single sign on, which is some of your users might be leveraging Google as IDP, rest will go to the third party IDP. With this launch, you can actually create multiple SAML IDP profiles inside Google Workspace or Cloud Identity. And I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. And then you can, once you have your uh, SAML profiles created, you can then assign uh, the specific IDP based on group or organizational unit or maybe a mix and match of uh, both of these for doing some sort of exclusions. So here is the flow uh, looks like once you have that in place, the user will enter his or her email address. There will be IDP discovery in place where we will check whether uh, that specific user belongs to a group or organizational unit which has the SAML profile assigned. And then based on that uh, identity provider lookup, that user should be redirected to the respective identity provider, whether it's a third party IDP like Okta or Azure, or maybe Google itself. Now, before I show the demonstration of it, just a few things that you should keep in mind or the logistics that you should take care of. The first one, of course, is you should have third party identity providers in place to leverage this functionality. Second is you should have security settings privilege if you have super admin, that's perfect. Uh, you should also have groups and organ organizational unit read-only privilege so that you can see those uh, organets and groups when you are doing the profile assignment. And then finally, you should also have, that's optional, you should also have user read privilege. You know, when you're assigning, if you just want to check which specific SAML profile is assigned to a given user, you can do that. Now, a quick watch point, if you're a Google Workspace or Cloud Identity Super Admin, by design, you will be passing the uh, IDP or single sign-on authentication and you would be logging in with your Google credentials themselves. And this is by design just to make sure any lockout in case if your SSO server goes down, you can log in directly as a super admin with your Google credentials, turn off single sign on, do your troubleshooting and turn it back on. Okay, so with that, let me show you the live demonstration of multiple identity provider support in Google Workspace or Cloud Identity. Okay, so I'm in my admin console, so I will go to security settings. I will scroll down a bit to find third party IDP place and there it is. What you see new here is this add SAML profile option. When you click on that, you can give your SSO profile a name and you can you know, provide the required details to have that IDP configured. As you see, I have a few configured here. And then once you have SAML profile configured, you can click on Manage Assignments to do the assignments of these identity providers to specific organizational units. So for example, I have this multiple IDP demo organizational unit under that, I have a few sub-organizational units. So when I click on ADFS, I have selected ADFS from my SSO uh, assignments available to this organizational unit, same as Azure AD, uh, and to Okta, I have the Okta one. And for rest of the organizational unit, for example, if I go to my root, that says none, which means Google is the IDP. So essentially, if somebody comes from this ADFS organizational unit, he or she will be redirected to ADFS and respectively Azure AD Okta. And if a user belongs to any other organizational unit, then Google will be the single sign-on provider. Uh, as I was uh, showing you that you can have groups to override uh, the settings that you have 
uh, for your organizational unit. So with that, if I now go to an incognito window and try to access, for example, Google Drive, I will type the uh, email address for example ADFS now this user belongs to my ADFS organizational unit and is supposed to be redirected to ADFS so when I click on next it redirected me to ADFS I'm gonna put my uh, AD credentials here and if things go fine I should be redirected back to Google Drive uh, with authenticated as this user so if this if I sign this out and this time if I go to Google Drive uh, same domain but the email address let's say if I go with Azure and uh, put the email address I will be redirected to Microsoft as it is configured as the identity provider for this organizational unit and it will send the SAML response back to Google and now I am logged in to Azure account again the same domain if I sign it out last time I'll go to Drive uh, same domain but I'll go with Okta email address and I'm redirected to Okta because that's what configured for this organizational unit and if I go here it seems I have 2FA configured so I will quickly put the code which is 172.289 so now I'm logged in via Okta to this email address or user, which is part of, again, the same domain. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, do not hesitate to put that under this video, and I'll be happy to collaborate. Thank you so much.